Okay, how to set up multiple pages scan or multiple pages to scan on your Mac or PC. I have a Mac, so I spent a couple hours each time trying to figure out how to set this up, but it's quite simple. Stressed out, Google, ask friends for help. I'm not uh, willing to pay for it, so. I set up in the uh, the feeder, not the flatbed. Okay, I just got this new brother printer. Scrapped the old Canon after ten years, which worked very well. It's just it won't scan or print. So before I set up papers in the feeder, I go to this. System preference. This pops up. Scanner and printer. This pops up. Go to scan. This will help you guys um, a lot. You just follow my instructions here. And uh, you'll be okay. Open scanner. This pops up. So this is very important here. A lot of reading, a lot of headache pull my hair out um, scan mode document feeder I like it color because I'm uh, scanning up uh, some contracts for from the clients that I just signed last week resolution keep the same or whatever you need to do size a4 that's standard orientation it's vertical I set up a folder here and I make sure, you know, if it's not up here, you just go to other. And then they'll let you um, locate where you want. So it's under desktop. On my desktop, I will find my scan docs because you don't want it disappearing into some weird folder where you don't know where it is. Uh, PDF is what I like. Not JPEG. So make sure it's PDF. And this is the sucker here where I pull my hair out for like many many hours click combine into single document PDF file once I'm done I click, click scan and uh, as you can see it's doing it one at a time 26 pages long but uh, when I did it many times it just scanned into individual pages and into Sing individual JPEG or PDF, and it frustrates the heck out of me. I figure I try to figure out how to combine it afterwards. It doesn't work, but um, this is the, the fastest and easiest way to make it work. And once it's done or it scans, you open up the scan docs, and then um, you can um, change the uh, the title of that. So I would change it to the uh, client name and address and um, that's what I would do but there's also another way of doing it faster is going to application look for image capture you click and you drag it onto your desktop double click that this opens up it's gonna do exactly the same thing as if you were to go into system preference look for printer and scanner and going to this part so that's a shortcut faster way is to go to image capture i um really hope uh you guys find this useful because my brain hurts it took me three hours today and uh two weeks ago it took me three or four hours to eat just to set up the printer um onto my mac without using the uh, CD-ROM that they gave me, which is stupid because I just got this USB port or plug. There, there's a USB plug. Where is it? Right there. From the printer into the back of the Mac. And you don't even need an Ethernet plug for Wi-Fi or internet from the printer to the, uh, the Mac. This is quick, fast, easy. Now let's open up ScanDocs. Let's double click that. 
all 26 pages right here. I'm quite happy. So I hope you enjoyed that. If there's enough requests for me to do how to set up the printer to the Mac without using CD-ROM and all that mumbo-jumbo, I will do that. Thanks, guys. See ya.